I entered the contest uh, for the Roadshows album and replaced high enough to win a chance to chat with Sonny Rollins. It completely changed my life. Um, his advice really changed my whole trajectory and how I thought about music and how I thought about life. And I thought about developing oneself as an artist and a human being. And uh, really can't thank you enough for that experience. It was really, really powerful. One thing I've been working on in my playing recently is really trying to... Um Find find my own voice and have it come through strongly in my music. I mean, we all know who we are, but I was wondering if you had any advice on how to get that to come through strongly in your music and your playing. Well, it's very individual. I mean, like you say, every artist in jazz, from Coleman Hawkins to Lester Young and John Coltrane to Don Bias, all these great people have their own sounds. How do you get it to come out? It's you. You've got to get yourself to come out. This one uh, also was supposed to be on the first Side Door album, um, and I remember distinctly like being at heart with the guys at like 3 a.m. and we just ran out of time to workshop this one, so we didn't we didn't end up playing it at the gig, um, and then only had a chance to record it or record it all, I should say, you know, until two years later. Um, and uh, you know, I at the time I was already kind of moving away from playing older standards, but I really liked this arrangement and. I've always loved Nat King Cole and this song. I just said, you know what? Why not? We already know it. We've been playing it live. Let's just let's just go and document it. Um, so I tried to take the lyrics of Unforgettable, which to me are kind of uh, optimistic and happy, and you know they're on that side of things. And I thought to myself, look what I was going through at the time. I thought, you know, these lyrics could also mean the exact opposite. I felt that the lyrics almost had a double meaning. So I tried to go more melancholy and sad and, you know, morose with, with the interpretation of the song and we harmonized it and slowed it down a little bit and, um, yeah, had a lot of fun with reimagining Unforgettable. Law of Attraction. So for, uh, for those of you not familiar with Law of Attraction, it's generally speaking the idea that thoughts become things. And that's something that's been a big influence on my life um, over the last 10, 15 years is uh, understanding that and um, trying to, just trying to be better about that, I guess. You know, we all have that voice in our head. Sometimes we like what they're saying, sometimes we don't. Um, and just learning to kind of quiet the mind and, you know, manifest your vision. It's really about manifesting visions. Um, but also it more largely connects to, you know, the vibrations of the heart, which extend like 10 feet beyond our body and all sorts of things that have to do with spiritual spirituality, but the science behind spirituality and religion, because I, I don't think that they're as far removed as people think they are. Personally, I believe they're actually very linked. Um, in, in many ways. So it, it, all these these things are uh, things that I think about all the time and have had a big influence on my music and my life. 